The Wolfhaven Metro is the vast complex rail network of the city-state of Wolfhaven. The 10 metro lines that make up the metro system make thousands of journeys each year. In order to conserve on server resources, some of the metro lines are manually driven by train operators. Although, operating the trains that transport us to work, play, and more may seem like an easy job, there will be many features that will be unfamiliar to those new to driving Wolfhaven's metro trains. This presentation will give an overview of how to operate our trains for both current and future operations. When operating trains on manual lines, there are several things one must take note of. One of these things are the various signs that are posted along the tracks of the rail line. These signs are usually banners with various icons and numbers that are used. Understanding what these signs mean is important to ensuring that the operations are smooth and orderly. The first type of sign you will have to be familiar with is the speed limit sign. These signs are usually black in color with a white number on it. It is important to note that the speed these signs are indicating is a zero decimal number rather than the number itself. In this example, you will see that the number is 7. However, the speed limit it actually portraying is 0 decimal 7 and not 7. Here's another example. The number indicated on the sign is 3. The speed limit here is 0 decimal 3 and not 3. The next type of sign you will have to remember is the speed limit change sign. These signs are usually black in color with a white number on it, accompanied by a yellow down pointing triangle on top. Just like the speed limit signs, the number in this example indicates decrease of the speed limit to a speed of 0 decimal 4 and not 4. Upon passing this sign, slow down your train to the indicated speed before the next speed limit sign. The next type of sign you will see is a stop position sign. These signs are black in color with a red line running across it in the middle. They are usually found at the end of station platforms where you should stop. The first minecart of your train should be positioned at the block before the sign and not at the block of the sign itself. Stopping your train correctly is important as the position of your train at certain stations with platform screen doors may result in the doors not opening due to this misalignment. It is also important to note that there are several variations of these signs where the stop position sign is combined with the speed limit sign. This example indicates that the stop position is at the block before the sign and the speed limit for the section of the track ahead is 0 decimal 7. Another sign you will need to remember is the start of an automatic zone. This type of sign is usually black in color with an orange border around it and a yellow colored number indicating the speed limit in the middle. The job of the train operator in an automatic zone is just to control the speed of the train. The operator has no need to stop or position the train manually in stations when they are in an automatic zone as the train will come to a complete stop in the correct position by itself. In this example, the sign is indicating the start of an automatic zone with a speed of 0 decimal 4. The operator should set the train speed to 0 decimal 4 and let it continue by itself. The second last sign you will need to be familiar with is the end of an automatic zone. This sign is usually black in color with an orange border around it and a yellow colored X in the middle. This means the train will no longer automatically stop at the station and the train operator has to resume manual operation of the train. The final sign you will need to be familiar with is the turnaround and retract sign. This sign is usually black in color with two purple rectangles on the top and bottom and a purple circle in the middle. This means that you should quickly get out of your end of the train and switch ends of the train. This is usually done in automatic zones. As a level of precaution, all drivers should set their train speed to zero once they have heard the train stop sound. Let's move on to signals. Signals are basically like traffic lights on the railway. They indicate whether a section of track ahead is clear or not. A signal is usually made out of a colored block with a redstone torch attached to it. The state of the signal is determined by looking at the colored block that has the lit redstone torch on it. 
For example, in this picture, the signal means green as the redstone torch on the green colored block is active while the torch on the red colored block is off. There are three colors for signals, red, yellow, and green. Red means stop. No train should pass a red signal unless otherwise instructed. This usually means that the track ahead is occupied and should not be entered. Yellow means slow down. Trains may pass the signal at yellow, but drivers are advised to slow down as the next signal will most likely be a red. Green means go. Trains may pass the signal at a green and the track ahead is unoccupied. Signals usually come with two colors only. Due to Minecraft's limitation of space, we can only create a signaling system that does not take up too much space. Therefore, some signals will come with one color only. As such, there are four types of signals you will see on the line. The first category are single colored signals. These signals usually come in the form of one colored block with a redstone torch attached to it. They usually come in the colors of red, yellow, as seen in the following pictures. These type of signals mean green or go when the redstone torch on the signal is off as seen in these pictures. The other category are double colored signals. These signals usually come in the form of two colored blocks with two redstone torches attached to them. They usually come in the combinations of green and red, and green and yellow as seen in the following pictures. As discussed earlier, the state of the signal is determined by the lit redstone torch on the colored blocks. In this example, we see that the signal means yellow, while in this example, we see that the signal means green, and in this example, we see that the signal means red. Trains stopping at the red signals must not stop beyond the block before the signal. Now on to controlling the train. There are several commands you need to know to control your train. The first one is slash train claim. This makes it such that the owner of the train is you and prevents others from performing the act of train jacking, where other people force control of your train. The next one is slash train destroy. This is used to clear the train and should be used in the event of a train fall. The final one is slash train max speed or slash train speed limit. This is used to control the speed of the train. Now we will move on to operating the train. In the depot, press the button to press or spawn a train. Then move and sit in the front of the train. While doing so, check and ensure the train is working normal. Once in front of the train, run the slash train claim command. Then set the train speed according to the speed limit. Once ready, press the button to start the train. The train will then move off. Now we will look at how one should drive the train. This clip shows the train operator operating the train from West Ferry to Esplanade Station on Line 5. The train operating checks the speed limit which shows a speed limit of 0.7. Once he is ready to move off, he slowly starts to accelerate the train as seen now. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. He is able to adjust the command so quickly because he opens his chat, presses up the arrow key, changes the speed, and hits enter. Now we see the train approaching the Marine View Station. How do we get the train to stop accurately? The key in doing this is smooth stopping, similar to the way the train operator in his clip accelerated the train earlier, just in a manner which decreases the train's speed. Another tip is to make use of the dark colored door markers on the yellow line. Most Wolfhaven metro stations have four doors or door markers. Therefore, it is recommended that one enters the station at 0.5 and decreases the train speed by 0.1 at every door or door marker. Watch as the train operator decreases the speed from 0.7 to 0.5 and enters the station. 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 stopping at the block before the stop point marker as he should.
We will now watch as this train operator drives toward Esplanade Station from Marine View. He checks the speed limit for the stretch of the line ahead and makes sure people stay clear from his train. He now starts to accelerate the train again, just like how he did when departing West Ferry Station. We see a signal approaching. It is a single colored yellow signal, and it appears to be indicating yellow as the redstone torch is lit. The operator now knows that the next signal is most likely a red and starts slowing down. It is also worth noting that there is a sign saying that there will be a reduction of the speed limit to 0.3, so the operator would have to slow down anyway if there was no yellow signal. A single colored red signal ahead is indicating red as the redstone torch is lit. The driver slows down and stops his train before the signal. It is also worth noting here that this signal gives the operator permission to proceed with caution if it remains red for over 10 minutes, as seen on the sign posted above the signal. A few minutes have passed and it seems that the train ahead was still in the platform, making the track occupied. Once the train section is clear, the redstone torch on the signal goes off, indicating green and the track is clear. The train operator proceeds on a speed limit of 0.3. Now we see the train operator is entering what is called an automatic zone. As discussed previously, this is indicated by an orange bordered banner with a black background and a yellow number in it. This means that it is an automatic zone with a speed limit of 0.4. The operator changes the speed of the train accordingly and enters Esplanade Station. This is an automatic zone. He does not need to stop the train manually, and the train will automatically stop by itself in the correct position. As a precaution, the operator must set the train speed to zero once the sound of the train stopping is heard. The operator then moves to the other end of the train as instructed by the sign discussed earlier. Once in the opposite cabin ready, the operator may set the speed of the train to the speed limit, which is 0.3. If your train does not depart when you change the train speed from zero to the speed limit, you may not have stopped the train long enough and the train will eventually automatically depart. It is also worth noting that the automatic zone ends there as well, as indicated by the sign with the yellow X and orange border as discussed earlier. The driver then proceeds as per normal into the depot and gets paid for his shift. Job well done. We hope that this presentation has provided you with all the necessary information required for you to do your driver examination. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you operate our trains.